Hi, I'm Jordi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm at a new skate park. And I will be filming how to do a cartwheel um, and how to do an aerial. So a ramp this size is a good height to practice cartwheels. It's possible to do an aerial on this size ramp, but with a little bit more vert will make it easier. Firstly, I want to say I'm not a gymnast, so my cartwheel and aerial form isn't textbook, and I still can't land my aerials consistently. So this video mainly talks about what I do and think about when trying to land this trick. Roller skating is a dangerous sport, so skate at your own risk. Also wear your safety gear. Before attempting this trick, you want to be able to do a cartwheel on the ground. Focus on form and try and keep your body in the one plane, as this will help you stay balanced when you're on the ramp. Now you want to put your skates on and attempt the cartwheel on wheels. Remember your form and try and land on your wheels and not your toe stops. Also take note of which leg is in front. If your cartwheel front leg is the same as your leading leg when you skate, you're in for an easier time. For me, it's the opposite, so I have to switch my leading leg to be able to do a cartwheel or aerial. Another skill you want to be confident in before attempting a cartwheel on a ramp is pumping. You'll need the momentum, especially if you want to do an aerial. Once you are comfortable in cartwheeling on skates, you want to add a little bit of backwards momentum. When learning this trick, you don't have to go fast, as timing and keeping form is more important. The speed will come with practice. Start by skating fakie, looking behind you and with your knees bent. As your feet start rolling up the transition, you want to bring your head back to in front and start lowering your arms and spot your hand placement. Your skate should start rolling up the transition with your back leg lifting off first and then your front. It's not really noticeable in the video, but I will push off the ramp a little with my front leg to help me rotate my legs over. So with the momentum of your chest going down and the curve of the ramp, your legs will go up and over. To get a pretty cartwheel, timing is key. You will need to hold your fakie position until you feel like you're almost at the highest part of your pump. The faster you skate, the higher the cartwheel, and therefore the longer you will have to hold your fakie position before you drop your chest and put your hands down. If you don't wait long enough, the momentum will pull your legs backwards as opposed to up and over. If you're like me and you like to lead with one foot but you cartwheel with the other foot leading, you have a couple of options. Option 1, practice pumping with your non-dominant leading leg. This is what I did for this size ramp, but I really had to focus on my fakie form so I didn't lose balance when I skated higher. Option 2 is switching feet just before you do the trick. This means you will pump in your regular stance and when you gain enough momentum, the forward pump before you do the fakie cartwheel, you will bring your feet together at the apex of the pump and switch stance as you come down the transition. This is the technique I use for when I'm doing cartwheels and aerials on a vert ramp as it's harder for me to keep momentum with my non-dominant leading leg on larger ramps. I find I do one hand cartwheels as a step in between a two hand cartwheel and an aerial. The one hand will come down and touch after my legs go up pretty much to save my face. Here are the key factors I think about when attempting an aerial. It's only when I do them all that I land the trick. Unlike cartwheels where you can build the momentum and then coast fakie up the transition, for aerials you really need to pump hard up the transition to get the weightless feeling as you leave the ramp. As you skate fakie and pump up the transition, you need to keep your knees bent and chest up. You're trying to keep it up as long as possible until you reach the top of the transition. If you don't wait long enough and drop your chest, you'll rotate your upper body into the ramp and most likely put your hands down. As your skate reaches the top of the transition, just before it leaves the ramp, you want to push off the ramp. This helps you push your body and head away and gives you time to rotate and land your feet. If you don't push off, you'll probably land high in the transition on your toe stops as you won't be able to get your feet underneath you in time. Lastly, I want to talk about my legs. I didn't notice until I was filming this video, but I was more consistent in landing aerials when my feet left the ramp relatively close together and then focused on kicking over. Previously, I just let the momentum take my legs. Though I have done aerials with more of a split stance, that was on vert ramps and I could roll further up the transition before pushing off. If you're constantly landing on your toe stops when trying to do aerials, then here's a little tip. You can start by skating forward and planting your hands on the transition or the coping and doing a little jump and landing in the stance. This may help with muscle memory. 
Hopefully you are able to take a couple things away from this video that will help you with your cartwheels or aerials. Please tag me on Instagram shortstop.6 as I'd love to see your progress. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more skating tips and tricks.